Hey folks, and welcome to uh, 15 Minute Yin, or not Yin, 15 Minute Yoga Snack. It's not Yin at all, it's a Hatha class. And uh, we're gonna be practicing starting it in a standing position. So if you're laying down on your back, or if you're in seated meditation, or wherever you happen to be, stand up onto your feet, and let's begin from there. I'll see ya over on the yoga mat. All right, so once you're standing up on the feet, let's loosen the arms by your side. Take your hands together in front of your heart center, palms touching. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, press the palms down, look down. Separate the palms, reach to the sides, look forwards and breathe in, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Interlacing the fingers, pushing down now, pressing down, finishing the breath out. Let's go again to the sides, releasing the palms grip. Open the arms up to the sides. Inhale, palms connect. Exhale, hands to heart. Pressing down, looking down. Two more like that. Just reaching up, finding that cycle. And one more breath, just like that. Making it count, making it feel nice and smooth, big breath. And once you're done the exhale, just release your body into a neutral position standing, squat down slightly, bending the knees. Let's lift the arms up and forwards and then step the feet apart, just a little bit wider for a powerful pose. Letting the hips squat down. You should feel this in the butt, in the thighs. So those two muscle groups and actually in the hamstrings as well. So it's kind of like the whole upper legs and the back of the butt. Let's hold for 10 more seconds or so. Let's just take one deep breath in and out and then we'll get out of the pose. Rise up from there. Let the arm, let the right arm come under the left arm. Bind up for equal pose. Lift the right leg up and over the left leg and squeeze through the inner part of the body, the legs and the arms. Let's take a breath in and reach the arms up, keep the legs together. Interlace the hands above the head, stretch up through the fingers, a little bit taller. Take one more breath in. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, stand up all the way, reach up with the arms. Exhale, left arm under right arm, lift the left leg up and over top of the right leg. Should feel a little stretch between the upper shoulder area and the mid, mid spine, above the mid spine. Reach just the arms up, keep the legs like they are. Take a deep breath in. Palms together, squeeze the palms a little bit. Step the legs back down and inhale, stretch up tall, straighten the legs. And come towards the top of the yoga mat. And from there, you're going to bring the hands towards the heart center. Feet are still stepped together, get a squat back and down with the hips. Take a full breath in, lengthen the spine a tidbit and then twist. Exhale, right side down, left side, uh, left side down, right side up. No, it doesn't really matter, does it? Just do both sides of the twist eventually. <laughs> Find that uh, kind of vibe of your own breath, being nice and full in and out through the nose. Let's take just one more breath in and then back to center. Reach up. We're going to do the other side of the twist, hands to heart, squatting down. Inhale, lengthen the spine a bit. Exhale, twist the opposite way. <clears throat> now we want to squeeze the legs just to provide stability 
into the hip region. Find that rotation of the whole spine all the way up to the head as well. You're going to look over the left shoulder. Last breath in, holding the twist. Breathe out and untwist. Reach and rise all the way up, breathe in. Keep the arms up. We're gonna step back with the right leg. So step it back, tilt back like toppling tree and then plant the toe and lift the back heel above the back toe. And crescent lunge. Stretching up, we're gonna feel that stretch crossing um, the hip area, up into the stomach and abdomen, maybe into the chest and reaching up. Wanna have the glute muscle strong, the back leg pressing down. Now we're gonna try a bit, a bit of a challenging transition moving from here into toppling tree. So we're gonna hinge forwards with the spine just a little bit. We're gonna bend the back knee and we're gonna spring forwards into toppling tree. Arms reaching up for five, four, three, two, and one, come back, feet together. Stay reaching up, step the left leg back, and stretch up with the arms and the chest. You could also reach the arms back, but I'm gonna encourage you to find that challenge of reaching up today, just a little bit. All right, let's tilt the spine forwards just a little bit. So our body weight's more over top of the right leg now. We're gonna bend the left knee and spring forwards. Balancing on that right leg, lifting the left leg up and back, reaching the arms up and forwards for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, foot to the floor, relax the arms all the way down nice and slow. Feel them relax at the sides of the body all the way down. Now bend the knees, slide the hands down the thighs, the shins, the feet, touch the floor, kneel down on the floor. We're going to turn onto our backs. And once you're on your back, just laying down on your yoga mat, hug the right leg into the chest and grab on top of the shin, extend the left leg out. Now hug that right knee into the chest. Should feel the stretch in the groin and the hip area of that right leg. You can move it around, stir the leg around left and right a little bit. And from here, we're going to move into thread the needle on the same leg. So bending the left knee and then crossing the right ankle on top of the left thigh and draw the leg in. We'll just be here for uh, maybe about five breaths. And from here, we're gonna lower down the leg. Left foot down, right foot uncrosses, down on the floor. Uh, now let's hug the left knee into the chest, holding with your hands. Extend the right leg out on the floor. And draw that left knee in, looking for that groin and hip stretch. Let's stay here for a few more breaths.
We're moving into thread the needle on that same leg. So we bend the right knee, right foot on the floor, left ankle on top of the right thigh. Reach through the gap of the legs. Hold on to the back of the right thigh. And continue to draw in with the arms. Three more breaths in and out the nose. And then you're going to release the leg, uncross them, and turn over so that you're on your hands and knees. We're going to come into child's pose or melting heart. Child's pose, we shift back, but to the feet, reaching the arms forwards, forehead down to the floor. Child's pose, stay in tabletop. Let the chest and the stomach kind of start to kind of come down and come onto the forearms. This can be our start in melting heart. Uh, we can go further down, fingers reaching forwards. Bring the forehead down onto the floor. Um, or just take child's pose, whatever one works for you. We're just here for about three or four more breaths. All right, let's pull ourselves back forwards to tabletop eventually. And from tabletop, we're going to walk the uh, left knee forwards and put it onto the floor. Like we're going to do deer pose um, with a, that hip stretch on the left, left side hip. But we're going to actually lean back. So instead of leaning forwards, I want you to start to lean back onto your hands. So notice both legs are in about a 90 degree bend. We're just leaning back here. We should feel this stretch wrapping around the inner groin, the inner thigh, and the front right quadricep. Now let's shift it forwards to that position that's maybe a bit more familiar to us. Fingertips on the floor, walking the elbows down, and just for two breaths in, in this posture here, taking a deep breath in the nose. And a big sigh out the mouth. One more in the nose. And out the mouth. Push the palms, fingertips down, lift up. Let's get back to tabletop. So over on both knees again. We're gonna walk the right knee forwards to the hand and swivel both shins till they're touching the floor. We're in deer pose on the opposite side, but we're gonna lean back again. So hands leaning back behind your hips. Both legs are in that 90 degree bend. You should feel that stretch primarily on the left side quad and groin. You press down with the palms, lift the heart a little bit. And just feel the support from the hands there. And let's use that support to get back into our forward fold. So leaning forwards with the left hand and bringing the right hand forwards as well. And elbows down, two breaths in forward folding deer. And then palms on the floor, lift your chest up, come back to tabletop position. From here, you can lay down on your back for Shavasana, or you can sit onto a meditation cushion or a block for just a short meditation. And so we'll just be here for about one minute and just try to become a little bit more present with the feeling of our body and the feeling of our breathing. Um, that's what yoga really is helpful for is, is, is getting us closer to a state of awareness, closer to a state of internal awareness of how we're feeling. And um, then we can enjoy meditation or we can enjoy being present. So let's be present together just for one minute here. Close your eyes or keep them open and just become into that comfortable position.
Let's draw a nice deep breath in together, filling up through the nose. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that two more times together, filling up through the nose. And exhaling out through the mouth. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Give yourself a little bow. And then lift back up through the heart, through the head. And then give the whole world a little bow. Thank you so much for joining the practice tonight. It's such a pleasure being with you. I'll see you for the next class whenever that is. Ciao.